As she breaks her silence over their divorce, Ashlyn Harris denies cheating on her ex-wife Ollie Krieger, a USA soccer player, with Sophia Bush, to be clear, I did not cheat on my spouse. In an effort to clarify that she did not cheat on her ex-wife, Ashlyn Harris has spoken out about her breakup with fellow USA soccer player Ollie Krieger. Following their October announcement of separation, Harris is rumored to be dating Sophia Bush. Just Jared claims that the two attended Mariah Carey's Los Angeles Christmas concert together on Friday night. Rumors circulated that Harris had cheated on Krieger by seeing Bush, the song that talks about her husband Jay-Z's infidelity. Harris now published the following lengthy Instagram statement. It was not an easy decision to end a relationship after nearly 13 years of friendship, teammate ship, marriage, and co-parenting. We decided to separate, keep up our therapy, center our kids, and go on with our lives. It is always preferable to have two happy families than one miserable one. Although it's never an easy procedure, we managed to get through it. We intended to keep this material confidential, however a leak prevented us from doing so. One of the most upsetting experiences I have ever had in my life is the hostility I have encountered online. I am aware that in the realm of internet rumors, it is wisest to avoid feeding the monster. I've been trying to follow this advice for weeks and the things that have happened to me have had a terrible effect on my mental health. The words count, the taunting of abuse, the calls for me to take my own life, and the hurtful remarks made about my kids and my identity as a mother. Such words are important. People have taken to spreading an excruciatingly terrible story. Not every marriage endures forever. Not in our case. For numerous causes. Furthermore, even while I recognize that the misleading narrative about why something would feel juicer, or make a badder headline, it is just untrue. To be clear, I did not abandon my spouse. Though I wasn't always pleased in my marriage, I was always faithful. Similar to numerous partnerships, there was labor, counseling, and processing that was done. All of this was not impulsive. Being the target of a community-wide backlash during this complex and challenging journey has been more painful than I could have ever expected. My entire professional life has been devoted to creating a welcoming environment where individuals feel free to be authentic, and safe. That legacy has held greater significance for me than any of my on-field accomplishments. It feels like everyone in the community has lighted the matches and thrown gasoline on me right now. We have been in love for years, even in the midst of this current gloom. And the greatest part of it all is our children. Most importantly, they should have two happy and healthy parents. Everybody is hurting. I am sharing all of this to remind people how hurtful it is to bully someone about a personal choice, especially when the bullying is based on lies. I hope you can see that I'm just a parent, a human being, and a decent person trying my best, rather than carrying on with this nastiness. If you could just take a deep breath and show my family and I some humanity, it would be really appreciated. Together, Harris and Krieger adopted a boy and a daughter, and got hitched in Miami on December 28, 2019, nine months after making their engagement public. They were both a member of a USWNT training camp in 2010 when they first met. In addition to Krieger's 108 international games as a defender, Harris earned 25 appearances as a goalie for the United States, which they both won two World Cups in 2015 and 2019. Just a few days ago, Krieger announced her professional retirement from the sport, capping a fairytale career. Krieger's Gotham FC squad defeated OL Reign 2-1 in the NWSL final, giving her her first-ever club championship. In San Diego, the winning captain raised the trophy high, marking the end of an illustrious and successful career.